My name is Monica Byrne. Okay. Who's that? I'm a writer. I write plays and novels, but when I first started writing, I wrote short stories. And even though I really, really loved them, I stopped writing them because I knew that even though there was a chance that a novel could support me full time, I knew there was no way that short stories could. There are markets for short stories, but there's no money in it. There's maybe like $100, there's maybe $30. To me, that's like saying we can have a musical culture where we have symphonies, but no songs. And, and that would suck, right? Without short stories, our literary culture is incomplete. So there are two possible solutions to this problem. One is to self-publish through Amazon Kindle singles, which I may do someday, and plenty of authors do, and it's great. But it's not my go-to because I have a complicated relationship with the amount of power that Amazon has, and I think of a lot of us do. So the second option is to use Patreon, which not only supports me directly as an artist, but supports the indie publishers whose sole purpose in existing is to support creative risk. And I want to take a lot of creative risks. This is my study. It's like a laboratory where I'm constantly running experiments, and some of them take a long time and some of them take a short time, but I, I think of it this way because I used to be a scientist. Not all ideas want to be novels. In fact, the vast majority of them don't. And there's these crazy alchemies of places I've been, pictures I've seen, things I believe in, phrases I've heard, people I've met, songs I love, films I've watched, uh, meals I've eaten, and everything, and everyone that I love. So stories are a form of activism. They're a creation not only of words on a page, but the world we live in and the possibilities prescribed for the people who live in it. What if there was a floating ice sculpture garden on an ice floe in the Arctic that only some people could visit? Or if we had Temple Horse set up in City Hall? Or we infused that idea with this Radio Tehran song that I'm totally obsessed with right now? Or we had sailing on a terraformed Venus? But what would it look like for Ferguson in St. Louis to be an opera a hundred years from now? Or corporations started offering designer genders? So this is why I laugh when people say that the short story is dead financially or creatively. To me, we've just barely begun. Stand close together. I'm gonna... <laughs>